Good day, I greet you on this Pentecostal Sunday 2022. I trust you will have a wonderful day. It's so great to just see you again and meet with you also on this platform. We are living in a time where for the last few years a number of infectious diseases are going around the world. We all took note, especially of the so-called COVID-19 pandemic. And now we hear of monkeypox. And of course, we are in that time of the year when there are winter colds and flu going around. And people get infected so easily when they come close to one another with these viruses going around between people. But we also have to take note of another very serious infection. The influenza, a flu that creeps into our spiritual life and affects the way we think, the way we talk and the way we live. We read about this influenza in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5 in the New Living Translation. It says, In the last days there will be very difficult times, for people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from such people. As we read this, we can recognize this flu as secularization. It happens when Christian values and Christian norms are no longer influencing the way people live in their everyday life. When religion loses its cultural significance in society. When it becomes normal for people to be irreligious and there is no respectability and status given to practicing religion. When believing God is no longer self-evident and there seem to be many other options, alternatives available. The symptoms that shows us that this sickness is prevalent amongst us is, for example, egoism and narcissism. That is when people are admiring themselves so much, they love themselves so much that everything in their lives centers around them and what they have, and what they can achieve, their money and their possessions. And in doing so, people become cruel, and they become puffed up with pride, as Paul has said in this piece. Paul says to Timothy, stay away from people like this. Why? Why does he say that? Because this influenza, this illness is so infectious and so very dangerous to you and me and our spiritual lives. It affects us and can really kill your spiritual life. But you know there is one medicine, only one antidote for this infection. And that is to be full of the Holy Spirit. To live a life that is full of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, to live as people of the Spirit, in unity with one another in the midst of a secularizing society. Galatians 5.24 tells us about this. It says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to the cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Paul says here, if we derive our life from the Holy Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us 
allow the Holy Spirit to influence our everyday life. Let us come under His influence in the way we think, in the way we speak, in the way we live. Let the Holy Spirit determine our lifestyle. You know, love, life by or in the Spirit is not something occasional. Where you have a, some event where you experience the Holy Spirit. No, it's about a continuous state of living, a way of living. That is why Ephesians 5.18 says, Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And that word, be filled, is in the continuous tense. It means be in a place where you are continuously, on an ongoing basis, filled with the Holy Spirit. If we, you and me, will influence our public life, our cultures, our every sphere of society by how we live our everyday lives as people of the Holy Spirit, we will really make a difference in our country and in all our communities. It will really change everything. As you know, we are here on earth to impact our communities. We are here on earth to live in a way that our principles will be kingdom principles, that people will see, because we are here to be witnesses of Jesus. That's why He gave us the Holy Spirit, to empower us to be His witnesses. And we can do that. We can influence and impact those around us by maintaining an authentic Holy Spirit lifestyle with personal integrity, godly character and moral courage. I hope and pray and believe that every member of the AFM will be a person who lives as a Holy Spirit filled and Holy Spirit guided individual every day, not only on Sunday, not only at prayer meetings, but at work, at home, wherever you spend your time with friends and family, everywhere, because only then will we really be effective in impacting our world. You know, when we say, wherever you find people, you find the AFM, we are not only talking about buildings. We are talking about real spiritful people. Wherever you find people, you find AFM people. People whose lives are filled with the Holy Spirit. People whose minds and thinking, their speaking and their doing, all of their everyday life is saturated by the power of God's Holy Spirit. May we allow God's Spirit to again refresh us, to again empower us, to live as men and women, as young people and children, yes, as people of the Holy Spirit. Not only today, but for the time that lies ahead of us. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for this Pentecostal Sunday that we can celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. Help us, Lord, that that day, this day, will never just become an empty recollection. This will never just become another day to remember, a day of ritual, but that this will really be a day of rededication, a day of refreshing, a day of new empowerment by your Holy Spirit, that we can truly live as people of the Spirit, the people that you called us to be. And Lord, I pray your blessing on everyone listening to this recording, that you will be glorified in us and through us by the power of your Spirit today and in the year ahead. Thank you, Father. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.